California is making a new push to become a marijuana sanctuary state, getting ahead of an anticipated crackdown by the federal government. Last week, you'll recall, we told you how Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced a huge rollback of Obama administration rules that basically let the feds look the other way when it comes to marijuana enforcement. In response, California Assemblyman Reggie Jones-Sawyer has resurrected a 2017 bill that he says will protect residents and send a message to the feds that their, quote, cannabis-centric war on drugs should not be waged here. Joining me now from Sacramento, that very assemblyman, Reggie Jones-Sawyer. Delight to speak with you, sir. I, again, first introduced this back in February 2017, sort of a preemptive strike, knowing that you were getting an, a, a national uh, a figure that is, was largely opposed to recreational or medical marijuana. Yes, um, and I, you know, I'm a big fan, Michaela, so forgive me if I'm a little nervous. Um, about a year ago, <laughs> about a year ago, uh, Jeff Sessions, when he was formally nominated, one of the first things he talked about was going after cannabis. And at that time, I said, you know what, we need a Cannabis Protection Act, a legal Cannabis Protection Act here in California, because we've done a plethora of work on this. Since 95, we, we permitted medical marijuana. I helped write the rules for it in 2015. We officially legalized it for adult use marijuana in uh, 2016. We wrote the rules for it in 2017, and we've officially um, come out in September 1. Right after that, uh, Mr. Sessions said he wanted to roll back the coal memo, uh, which I think is a, a, will be a disaster for the legal marijuana. My bill, the last AB, time, uh, The last time the state supported the federal government's efforts, you say families were torn apart. Talk about what you mean by that. So when we did the war on, on, on drugs, um, I'm chair of public safety, and I visited more prisons than I ever wanted to in my life. Mm -hmm. Most of those crimes that they, that they committed was considered cannabis-related crimes. And for African-American Latino, uh, which has f filled the prisons here in California, and that's where a lot of the mass incarcerations are, we've, we've torn families away from, from one another. Um, I believe that not only is this legalizing it has helped with our economy, has helped to, to bring people back into, into businesses, but also the medical marijuana um, part is really, really important for veterans uh, with, with a P PTSD, for people with cancer, for children with chronic disease, and most important, seniors. And so I don't want to dismantle what California has done legally. And so my bill just says, absent a court order, um, we will not work with the federal government to dismantle what we have here in California. I want them to go after the illegal ones, and I'll give you an example. In Los Angeles, there's 130 Ill illegal um, cannabis facilities, but there's almost 1,400 illegal. Jeff Sessions can work with the, the federal government, the state resources, and local resources to shut those down. Um, he should not be here interfering with the, the legal businesses that over 60% of the voters in California uh, voted for. Well, we know it is deeply personal to you. You have family members that have used this uh, as medical marijuana to, to help with some of their medical concerns, and so many families do as well, and have been anxious for uh, January 1 to turn on the calendar in 2018. Uh, we'll watch this and see how it goes. Uh, Assemblymember Reggie Jones-Sawyer, a delight to speak with you. Thanks for making time for us. My pleasure. Thank you.